is the Hammer Fisting Podcast. Even the guys that you're like, oh, that guy's in UFC quality, that motherfucker could beat the piss out of 90% of people on God's green earth. I mean, that, that's something. Well, every so kinda... often, the chatter starts to build up, and it's like, oh, I think a professional boxer can get in there and knock one of these guys oh, out. Or I think CM Punk can go in there. <laughs> I think, you know, he's a man. And then, like, the chatter builds up, and you got to, like, let the air out of the balloon a little bit. Like, no, remember, these guys, they're, they've been doing this their they're entire life. They're a different fucking... breed. It's, it's, it's a fight. You're talking about a guy boxing. James Williams got ankle picked. Ankle picked. Dude, he didn't even know. That's he never know happened tap. before or after that fucking fight. Dude, he screamed out. Yeah. Like, like no one even taught him how to Panic. tap. Yeah. Panic. Not even how to stop a fucking takedown. He didn't even know what yeah. to do once his fucking... That was like his first day in the fucking uh, jiu-jitsu class. He uh, stopped being able to right. breathe. And he just yeah. flop around like a fish until someone lets go. But I that's like, why it's a I like sham. the point you made, though. That's a good point, you know, uh, because I, from a fighter that's fighting for a long time, it, it seemed disrespectful as a fighter. Like, there's, you know, thousands upon thousands of fighters trying to make it to the UFC and uh, then you just see CM Pump get a chance. And then it just realizes, like, okay, this is all about – this has nothing to do with sport. This has to do completely with just making money and entertainment. It's the drama it there. of it. But you know what? Then then you made up a good point. You know, realizing putting somebody in there that, that isn't ready, that doesn't know, really makes all these keyboard warrior guys realize, like, that this shit's on a high level. You know, a lot of times when you have two really high-level guys, it makes it look like we're just – yeah, you know, like they're, they're nullifying each other. Exactly. There's, so many, there's yeah. so many, you know, calculated decisions that are happening. You know, every quarter of a second, mm -hmm. like everything they're reading. You know, people say that there's fights that are boring, but when you're in there against another guy who's a killer, it could be that half a second, that one little slip up that makes a difference. And you can't really, you can't see the pressure. Like when people are wrestling or grappling, you can't see the pressure. There's times even as a coach, I'm coaching Misha, and I'm like, oh, do this, you know, do this. Like, why did you do that? And then. I get in there and she's talking like, oh, I can you you can't you can't can't you, feel you can't see what's the happening. The, yeah. You don't feel like well, if I would have moved, I was gonna get tossed exactly. in my head because yeah. it looks like you're just stalling. So it's kind of the same thing as is uh, you know that's a good point. People bring bring some <laughs> some guy in there. I want to see some big bodybuilder guy that everybody thinks is a killer get in there and then just get killed by some. That's why I like the old school Genki Sudo, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. Japanese fights where you see some little small guy beat the crap out of some huge giant guy because. I don't know how many times that I I've heard like oh yeah you might be a professional fighter in the UFC but but you know my boy is 220 pounds you know marine or whatever yeah. I'm not saying they're not tough but I'm, but it's I said you're not going to go out and say oh your buddy's a 220 pound marine he's going to go out and beat Tiger Woods in a golfing match like well no mm -hmm. it's golf yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly but, but because it's fighting they think you know even though there's a small factor of being tough you know that being tough in there they don't equate that there's so much <laughs> skill involved you know but if I relate it to golf they're like. Well, of course I'm not going to win it in golf. Like, I don't know how to fucking play golf. I say, well, you don't know how to fight either. But, 